Yo, what's going on? So, here we go, looking at some of the terminology for blue-red. That kind of region. So, um, blue belt, red tag, that sort of stuff. So, again, it's it, like I said before, it's not a comprehensive overview of everything. It's more designed to be the key terminology from your patterns, uh, breaking the techniques down into composable little chunks that you can stitch together, uh, like Lego blocks and... Uh, giving you a, a method and a, a system for how to build up terminology, right? There are some words that are new, you just have to learn. Uh, uh, but a lot of the stuff you can put together uh, just by connecting components from other techniques together, and that's how you'll bring them together. Um, mm, having a look at the sort of blue belt stuff, lots of new stuff in Jungun, lots of sort of stuff you've seen before in Tege as well, with different, with just little subtleties, right? But uh, let's start, let's dig into to Jungun. So Jungun starts Mojun Basugi B, close ready stance B. Um, again, if you if you think back to Mojun Basugi A and Wanyo, this is the same thing. It's Moa Jun Basugi A, closed ready stance A. Moa is closed, Jun B is ready, uh, Sugi is stance, and then A, B, C, whatever, right? Moa Jun Basugi A, B, C, uh, D. This one is B. First technique is Sunkal Dung Kawande Maki. So... Reverse knife hand middle block. Sung Kal Dung Kawan De Maki. Um, the, the thing to know about this one is Sung Kal on the reverse. Uh, when, we, when we say reverse knife hand, it's not Bande Sung Kal, like we would expect with Bande Dali Ochagi or with uh, Bande Apjimuk Jiruji. In knife hand, in knife hand land, it's Sung Kal Dung. Sung Kal Dung. And in this case, it's a block. So Sung Kal Dung Maki. Um, and it's the height then is obviously determined by the fingertips, right? So Sun Kal Dung Maki, Kawande Sun Kal Dung Maki. You have your your front snap kick, but this time it's side front snap kick because the foot is turned. So it's Yop Ap Chabusugi, Yop Ap Chabusugi, side front snap kick. Uh, next one is two new techniques. So we have a new stance and a new block. The stance is uh, rear foot stance, Dweet Bal Sugi, rear foot stance, Dweet Bal Sugi. The block is a palm upward block. So... For palm, we want sun barak. For upward, we want olio. And for block, we want maki. Sun barak, olio maki. Yeah, so these are the first three movements. And we continue on through the pattern stuff you know already. You've done, you've done, you've done. Next new one you come across is uh, walking stance, uh, upper elbow strike. So you know your walking stance from before, gunan sugi. And this is we palk up taregi, upper elbow strike, upper elbow strike. We palk up taregi. From here, we have... A uh, vertical punch with a twin fist. Twin fist, twin vertical punch. Um, so we know twin, sang. We know punch, jiruji. We know fist, jimuk. The only one we're missing is vertical, which is sewo. So it's sang sewo jiruji. Sang sewo jiruji. Sang sewo jiruji. Twin vertical punch. Um, then we have uh, upset punch with the twin fist is next. So this is twin fist upset punch. So it's sang jumuk, twin fist, and then it's upset punch, duijibo jiruji. Sang jumuk, duijibo jiruji. You pivot around, you have your um, new block in walking stance. This is X fist rising block. If you remember back to rising block in um, in Dangun, we had a chokyo maki, chuck it up there. And then for this one, we have, if you think back to your X stance, in you'll go, Kyochisugi. So now we have X and we have rising block and the only one we're missing is fist and we know that from before is, is Jumuk. So it's Kyocha Jumuk Chukyomaki. And now you see what I mean about it being Lego, right? If you think back to the previous terminology you've learned and this is why it's so important to link them all together and do your bit at every grade because it just makes it more digestible and easier to learn, right? So we just, we click the little bricks together and then suddenly we have the terminology. So, uh, Kyocha Jumuk Chukyomaki, X fist rising block. You've covered your back fist, we've covered the punching, um what happens we have our our double forearm uh we've covered this one and you'll go where else are we going yeah okay so new one is new stance new block we have a low stance and we have a palm pressing block so low stance first of all nacho sugi nacho you know like nachos that you eat nacho sugi um and then palm pressing block so palm if you think back to the start of jungun that we just start did a second ago palm is sun barak Sunbarak. So pressing is nulo and then maki is block. So sunbarak nulo maki. Palm pressing block. Sunbarak nulo maki. 
uh, we have an angle punch in a closed stance next. So closed stance, moasugi, angle punch, gyokcha jiruji, gyokcha jiruji, angle punch, gyokcha jiruji. And then we have our uh, U-shaped block in our fixed stance. So it's uh, U-shaped block is digochimaki, digo U-shaped block, digochimaki. So um, these are all the sort of pattern techniques in Jungun. Digochimaki is the last one. Uh, let's plow on and have a look at the, some of the, the terminology in Tege. Some of the terminology in Tege. So there's a few few kind of few weird bits in this one, but it's 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 okay. Again, it starts in your closed stance. We've covered all of this. Middle block is fine. First one, and this is one I always mix Duiji Bow and Duiji Bun up, but you, you just have to learn them. And this is this is this is where this one comes from. So we have an upset fingertip thrust. So upset Duiji Bun fingertip. We've covered already. Sun cut. And then thrust we've covered already tool gi. So Duiji upset fingertip thrust is Duiji Bun Sun Kut Tulki. Duiji Bun Sun Kut Tulki. Upset fingertip thrust. Okay. Uh, now we have our back fist strike, but this time it's side back. So it's it's not it's not in the front, it comes behind. So it's Dungjimuk Yap Dui Taregi. Dungjimuk Yap Dui Taregi. Again, Dungjimuk back fist and then side back Yap Dui. Up to, to the side and behind, and then Taregi strike, right? Bam, bam, bam. So think about your X pressing block now, the next one, X pressing block. So we have our X, we know, Kyocha, Jumok is fist, and then pressing, we learned the last time, Nulo, and then Maki is block. So Kyocha, Jumok, Nulo, Maki. Kyocha, Jumok, Nulo, Maki. X fist pressing block. Kyocha, Jumok, Nulo, Maki. We've covered the Sang Seiwo Jiruji already in the twin vertical punch. Now you have. Uh, the twin side elbow strike, twin side elbow thrust, not strike, twin side elbow thrust. So twin, sang, elbow, palk up, uh, side is yop, and it's uh, tulgi. So it's, uh, let me just put it together, I always mix it up. S sang, yop, palk up, turigi. Sang, yop, palk up, turigi. Sang, twin, side, elbow strike. So sang, yop, palk up, turigi. Sang is, is twin. Yop is side, palk up is elbow, uh, Taregi is, it's not Taregi, Mwiki Wiki, it's Tulgi, it's thrust, twin side elbow thrust, twin side elbow thrust, not strike, Sang Yop palk up Tulgi, Sang Yop palk up Tulgi, not Taregi, excuse me, Sang Yop palk up Tulgi, bam bam bam, we have our W shape blocks, and this is outer forearm W shape block. So if it's outer forearm, it's it's back at palmok. We've already covered this one. And because it's a W shape block, new word san maki. So back at palmok san maki. This is W shape block. Outer forearm W shape block. Back at palmok san maki. There's other W shape blocks as you go up through the grades, but this is outer forearm. Outer forearm W shape block. Uh, bam, 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 bam. That happens now. We have a double forearm pushing block. So if you think about your double forearm from You'll go do palmuk maki, um, do palmuk maki. This one is the is a pushing block. So we have to add the 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 little statement for pushing, which is miro. So uh, double forearm block and it's low. So it's do palmuk najunde miro maki. Double forearm low pushing block. Double forearm low pushing block. Do palmuk najunde miro maki. Do palmuk najunde miro maki. Okay, and you have to grab. You have your knee kick. Which is murup chagi, knee kick murup chagi. Foot go down, I've had done it, and then we have a uh, flat fingertip thrust, flat fingertip thrust, up on sun cut tulgi, up on sun cut tulgi. So up on is flat, sun cut is uh, fingertip, and then tulgi is thrust, up on sun cut tulgi, flat fingertip thrust. Dun 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 dun, plowing on, you have your X stance and X pressing, we've done all of this, uh, and you have your low. Knife hand guarding block. So we, we I mean, like you know this from Dan Gun, knife hand guarding block, Sun Kal Debi Maki, uh low knife hand guarding block, Najunde Sun Kal Debi Maki, or knife hand low guarding block, uh Sun Kal Najunde Debi Maki. Um uh, like I said, the order doesn't really bother me too much. There are some purists, I suppose, out there that'll will crucify me for that. But if you can put it together in in, in enough context, I think that's okay. So um Low, uh, low knife hand guarding block. Sunkal na jundai debi maki. 
Uh, bum, 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 circular block we've covered and then sitting sides we've covered front punch we've covered yep so there are all of the new kind of terminology and techniques you should be aware of at those grades at, at blue and red tag that's the sort of theory that comes in few a uh, few techniques that you've seen before with different changes right like the back fist side back strike right um and then a few new ones as well uh, the upset fingertip thrust and so on and so forth um yeah so they're the kind of key points in in blue red pattern theory right Ter pattern pattern terminology obviously there's loads more to your to to the theory uh questions you could be asked at this grade especially you'll start to you'll certainly be asked a little bit more detail about about stuff to do with um the more technical elements of take one all right it's not just about knowing a couple of korean words at this level right um but that's behind the scope of this video and i'm not going to get into that stuff now um this is the yep. Yeah, so this is blue and red tag terminology. Next will be uh, red belt black tag. Uh, if you have any other questions or if you have any questions, please get in touch. Let us know what you think. Um, I'm, I'm I'd be very interested to hear what people think. If you're finding value out of this, if you find it useful, let let me know and I'll keep doing it. Otherwise, I will just stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope I hope people are getting real value out of this and that it's helping you prepare for your test or it will help you prepare for your test when testing season rolls around. Um. Yeah, cool. If you like the stuff, give it a like, give it a share, give it a subscribe, a follow. I don't know, whatever else you have to do to to keep up to date with us. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate all the feedback you're getting so far. It's been really, really helpful. So uh, have a good uh, have a good day or a good night or a good evening or a good whatever you're doing right now. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.